Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50mistakes.com. It's my website devoted to cyber coaching and helping restaurants worldwide. Um, Jamie, we're going to talk about price checking today um, and uh, put in a, putting a system in place, correct? Because you're the one who inputs all the invoices. Yes. Now, here's the most common practice that a lot of places do. They take their invoice. They don't look at the line items, do they, Jamie? I've no. seen this over and over. And they pay on this statement that comes in, right? So they never look and say, oh, how much is bacon this week? Oh, how much is pork this week? How much is apples this week? How much is celery? And if they do look at it, they don't compare it back because they don't have the tools in place to actually say, well, last purchase it was $4. Now it's $4.10 a pound or $4.12 a pound. Jamie, how often do... Do, do changes take place on pricing? They happen quite frequently actually um, where you you don't realize it um, until you actually look at the invoice of it and you know I question every single thing. You do and you send me a message every time there's a price increase on anything right? Right now shrimp, there's a worldwide shortage of shrimp. Shrimp is going up but how much is shrimp going up? So now Jamie sends me a message saying shrimp went up 12% this week. It was $8 and now it's eight fifty a pound as an example, okay? Just throw some numbers out there. Now I know that as a chef, I have to plan accordingly. Now if you took your whole invoice, okay, and just never took those line items and plugged them in and to compare them, you have to compare every single item based upon your last purchase. Is it more work, Jamie? Absolutely. Prime example, this last week, what happened to the blueberries? Our blueberries went up like, I want to say it was like 40%. Something ridiculous. And it caught my eye and I said, that's impossible. It's impossible. What happened was the vendor, I slipped out of the, the contract period because a lot of times a vendor will contract you for a year or six months or three months on a particular item. When that contract ends, the price goes back to what a normal customer that didn't have as much usage as you would be paying. And realistically, the vendors don't really care if you catch that slip or not because they then don't. they're going to be making more money. Now, this particular vendor, he knows we're on top. All of our vendors know we're on top of it. He knows the program we use. So he knows he's never going to get anything by on us. He's not but trying to get anything by on us. He's not trying to get anything by on us, but it's but just their system. And he knows I'm going to email him and call him and say, hey, price, what's up? I always send him emails, price check this item, price check this item. And he'll legitimately say, I'm sorry, I can't do anything. Oh, yeah, fix it, credit yourself. Okay, he's not trying to pull it, but it's just a system. He's managing 20,000 items with over 100 accounts, right? Okay, we at our restaurant have, you know, five, 600, 700 items, you know, between spices and everything. So it just, it just happens. But you have to have a system in place to take every single item and check it previously. It sounds like a lot of work, but if you have the proper program, it makes it much, much easier, right, Jamie? Absolutely. So today's tip is don't pay the whole, don't pay on your statement based upon never taking each line item and going back and forth and cross-referencing it. This could be the difference of your food costs of 22, 23 to 28%. And if you're doing a million dollars for every 1% you save on your food cost is $10,000. So by taking small steps and hiring somebody or making sure that somebody's taking the time to do this and paying them extra will benefit you leaps and bounds financially because of the potential of saving that one, two, three percent over the long run. So uh, if you need help doing this, please email me, help at 50mistakes.com because I've systematized this so it works time in and time out and it becomes very, very easy. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching.